I'm going to press Ctrl and H and this will open the find and replace toolbox. From over here, find what, I'm just gonna leave it as that and replace with, I'm just gonna hit NA, not available and I'm gonna hit replace all. In this video, I'd like to show you how to hide the blank values that you see on your pivot table. Now, if you take a look over here under February, I have a grouping here by department and I'm calculating the total sales by month and by department. And notice that on some of these rows, I have the blank value. Now, let me show you why this value appears over here, how to get rid of it or how to get around this issue. Now, the first thing that we will do, we will identify the root cause of this issue. Why does the blank value appear right over here? Now, if I I move over to the sales data spreadsheet where I have all my data. Notice that on the column E on the department, I have a few missing fields. So whoever sent me this document either did not put these values in here, or maybe they were generated from an external tool and some data has been missing here. Now, what do we do in this case? The first thing that we could do is go to the pivot table and try to hide the values by filtering them out. What I'm going to do, I'm going over here under column A and on the row labels, I'm clicking on this button that Excel adds by default to pivot tables and in here notice that I have the date but I have this option right here to select the field that I want to filter on and I'm picking the department field and in here I'm just going to write blank and that will reveal the string that you saw over there the blank value I'm going to uncheck it and just click on add current selection to filter this will ensure that I remove the blank values from my pivot table and only the other values remain. I'm hitting OK and notice how the blank values are gone. But along with them, the values that I had under the sum of sales are also gone. Notice over here, the value is less than it used to be. If I control Z, I have 3607. And if I control Y to add the filter again, notice that I'm losing some data. Now that's not ideal. So now here's a better way of dealing with this. I'm just going to go to my sales data and over here where I have all the data, I'm just going to control and A to select everything. I'm going to press control and H and this will open the find and replace toolbox. From over here, find what, I'm just gonna leave it as that and replace with, I'm just gonna hit NA, not available and I'm gonna hit replace all. And just like that, it has done 19 replacements. I'm going back to my pivot table, I'm hitting refresh. And now instead of having blank, I'm having this NA. So at least whenever I look at this pivot table, I know that there are some sales in there, but I don't know for what department they were made. Now, these are two ways of of getting rid of the blank values in a Microsoft Excel pivot table, either by removing them or by replacing them with a value that has some more meaning. This was the video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and thank you for watching.